Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders for KW Bonsai. Today we're looking at my cedar forest. Um, all the trees have survived, which is good. And it's also amazing that uh, they all did because some of them didn't have too many roots on them. We did uh, a fair amount of root pruning, but we kept it kind of uh, to the point where the trees will live and they did, so that's good. Uh, so we're going to start doing some basic, uh, some sort of preliminary work, uh, some styling, maybe a little landscaping and some thinning on some of the trees, just to get them in check and to start, you know, developing the structure of some of the trees. So we can't do a whole lot of work yet, but uh, we're going to do what we can. So all the trees have firmed up in the pot. They've grown a lot of roots. Um, even the main tree here is growing a root out, a new root that's gone down into the ground. We've got some die back, which is quite normal until you get the tree established. Um, the next year we'll probably get less die back. And we're getting a lot of growth on some of the trees, quite vigorous in some of them, especially the trees that had uh, a lot of roots. The ones that I uh, had in training pots for a year have grown really vigorously. The main trees grown quite vigorously. Some of the ones that had very few roots, we've got some die back on them, but not a whole lot. And that's quite normal when you take a tree that's been growing in nature and put it in a pot and do root pruning. You're going to get some die back all the time. but. Uh, Every year you'll get less as it, uh, you know, establishes establishes uh, itself and uh, starts feeding all the branches. So we're going to go in and do some work. Um, I've started with the main tree. I've been doing some pruning. So we're going to continue on that. And we're going to do some styling to some of these other smaller trees in the forest. Just to get rid of... Uh, any major branches that we just don't need or can't use. All the foliage that I prune off the trees with my cedars, I, uh, I cut it up into fine little pieces and leave it on the surface of the soil. It does two things. It stops evaporation and it increases the acidity level of the soil. As this decomposes it becomes compost and it'll actually help feed your trees. So until we get our moss down, uh, that's what I do. And I, I, I leave it in the soil, all these cuttings. I'll just mix it in and put the moss over top of it. So again with the cedar, I'm looking for growth that's pointing inwards towards the tree and removing that. We want all our branches fanning out from the tree. We don't want foliage growing back in towards the trunks and I'm scissor pruning most of it for now and when that's done we'll go back and start finger pinching the tip the growing tips to keep the uh, foliage compact so again on each branch I have a branch leader that follows the branch line in a nice flowing pattern and then all the other foliage will be foliage that comes off of those off the main branch. So by a combination of scissor pruning and finger pinching you can get nice uh, tight compact growth on a cedar. You can see how congested it's getting in some of the areas on the tree. I've uh, done a lot of thinning on the front already and I'm uh, starting on the side here. So you just want to go into each branch and sort out the structure. So I'll continue working on each branch, pruning it structurally and pinching the foliage to get it all a little more open and fix all these congested areas. And we'll come back when that's done. Okay, so I've got the main tree pruned up. I did a lot of thinning on the crown in an effort to get it less of a poof on top and sort of integrate these branches in with the crown more and these ones 
So lighten it up and see a little more structure, but try and keep that slightly rounded shape. And the rest of the tree is thinned out. I wouldn't say it's finished, but uh, you know, I think I've been at this probably three hours now. And I can see going back in and still doing some more cleanup to it. But we're gonna leave it like that for now. You can see how much foliage I've taken off. You can see it all on the ground there. Quite a bit, so yeah, quite a bit of thinning on the tree and sorting out branch structure. So we've got our main tree pruned up. So the next thing we're gonna tackle is some of the smaller trees now. There's uh, this one is growing on a bit of a, it's not growing perfectly straight. It could be pushed over a little with a rock or something just to get it more vertical. This one's got a lot of branches heavy on this side. We're, we're after a fairly upright structure for all of these trees, if we can. Um, so we're gonna start pruning them in an effort to, you know, ideally we want vertical trunks, but we're not gonna be able to do it for some of these trees. They're just a little too twisty, but uh, we'll do what we can to give the illusion they're growing straight up. The first tree we're going to tackle is this one. It has some really long branches shading out some of the other trees. It's got a fairly vertical trunk and then it goes off on an angle. And we do have a lot of shoots down lower that are nicely positioned. So I'm just going to take the top of the tree off. So I'm going to take it off at a probably right here like so let's see how it looks yeah it looks a lot more upright in its growth now it doesn't look so leaning it's a little small but we can always grow the trees larger it's harder to make a tree small it's easy to grow them larger. So the next tree we're going to tackle, I'm just going to remove this dead branch here too, is this back one. It's a little tall and it's taking quite a turn there. So I'm going to come back here. We do have some nice growth here that's vertical. So I think I'll take the top off the tree again. Like so. And there we have our, our vertical type tree or looks more vertical. Um, I've got a large back branch here that's overhanging the edge of the pot that I'm gonna remove. Um, cedars, you can grow them as cuttings. I'll try and root them. Uh, I've had some success, but not 100%. Uh, I just stick them in a, a pot, and the pot has no drainage holes in the bottom, so it stays wet all the time. And sometimes you get fine roots growing out of it, and you can keep the tree. But they're not as easy to root as, say, a ficus or anything like that. Uh, there's another tree with a branch hanging back here we're going to remove, or at least shorten. This tree, it's got a weird branch and there's lots of shoots coming out so I'm going to take that off. Like that. Okay, so We've got a fairly tall tree here, um, and it's leaning a bit. Let me see it from the front again. Yeah, I think we're just going to reduce that down. We've got some good shoots down lower that are more vertical. 
I think we'll take it right down to here. There we go. Now I think on this tree, it's getting a little bushy. We want to make it look more tree-like, so we're going to remove some of this vertical growth here on this side. Shorten this branch. Um, I'm going to get rid of this lowest branch here. I think. Yeah. It's a little too low. And then we have some weird branches that do a lot of crossing here. I think... Oh, we'll leave them for now. We'll just do a little pruning here. Oh, there is one big back branch I could remove here. Which I will do. It's really long, we don't need that one. There's lots of other branches. Yeah, well that one was too long back there. Uh, this tree, again, it's looking pretty bushy. Do a little pruning on it, not a whole lot. This lower branch could probably come right off, but I'm going to keep it for now. There's a long branch over this side. But we're just going to shorten it for now. I won't take it off. It's growing pretty strongly. We might get some back budding. Uh, I'm going to take up here. We just don't want interfering with the tree behind it, which it is doing. I'm going to take that whole top off there and we'll take it back there. There, that gives this tree light. Turn off some of these dead branches. That's a little better. Each tree's got its space now. There's one we could prune back here. It's getting a little long. It's interfering with the other tree. Yeah, so that's some improvements. Um, the other side of the forest don't think we can do a whole lot yet, but let's have a look at it. So we are getting some strong growth on it here. So I am going to prune back the foliage tighter. Uh, cedars, when they're growing really strong, they get these strong vertical shoots. It's almost like a cylinder. You can see it on here. It has no, no leaves. It just shoots up very quickly. And then it starts developing its foliage pads. So if you get these strong vertical shoots like this, it in indicates the tree's growing really well. Which means you can do a little more work to it. So we're going to prune off some of these upward growing branches. Prune back some of the longer ones. And we're going to let these uh, vertical shoots grow because we do want all our trees fairly tall eventually. This front tree is pretty weak. It does have a new green shoot on it. So it is growing. But it's not strong enough to do any pruning to it yet. Yeah, so that tree's tidied up a little bit. I'll prune off this one end here. There. So I think that's about all the work we can do to this forest for today. Uh, we could start doing some landscaping, but I'm going to wait till the next video. And then we're going to do some uh, building of hills and stuff, exposing some of the surface roots. Right now, the soil level is a little high in the pot. And we'll get down some moss and uh, probably some pathways. Uh, I'm kind of styling this forest to resemble an old grove forest from British Columbia. So eventually all the trees are going to grow taller and they'll start looking more like a old growth forest someday. So we'll keep working on it.
and uh, the next video we'll be probably doing some more pruning and we're going to start on the landscaping probably put some pathways through there and that kind of thing so i'll take a last pan of the uh the trees so nigel saunders for kw bonsai we'll see you next time